Hi everyone, this is Imran Nimu and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video training, I will be showing you how to create a beautiful post grid on your WordPress blog using ZS post grid plugin. Here goes some demos that I would like to show you how beautiful the plugin can display your post on your pages. Okay, here. Uh, Firstly, I would like to start with this demo that is justified on the right and here you can see you can beautifully display the post images on any of your WordPress pages. Here it is. If you just click on any of the images, it will show you the pop-up of the image thumbnail. And let's see the masonry demo. Here it is. Here you can see your blog post in masonry style, and uh, it has it's the theme number thirty two, and masonry theme style on. Just scroll down. Okay, here it is, and uh, let's see some other demos. Here goes the postcard view. Here it is, and the images are zooming on a scroll and nice pagination, different image shape of your blog post. Table view, gray image and you can also create slider of your wordpress blog post beautiful wordpress blog post slider okay and here goes pop-up option just you can display the blog post on pop-up and i have already showed you and filter option it's very easy to create any post filter like uh, any portfolio filter plugin you can get many features in on plugin you can just sort out the post okay and here goes the plugins main home page and from here you will get more details about the plugin and if i scroll down you will see the feature list and here you can see it has 30 plus different themes okay and new features are being added regularly if you are interested to create a beautiful post grids on your WordPress website then you should feel free to purchase and what should I say was the full video and I will show you how can we build post grids on our WordPress website well I have already got purchased and here is the purchase confirmation page and if I scroll down I can directly download the plugin just you can see download plugins and if I click on this button then it will be downloaded just I'm going to click on it the plugin profile the plugin zip file is going to be downloaded very soon and here goes the licensing key okay i will add the license key after i install it okay i'm just going to go to the downloads folder of my windows machine and here i can see the plugin file okay let's see how to install it well you see the plugin zs post grid pro has been installed and activated now it's time to activate the license key okay here says gs pro grid 
license needs to be activated just activate now i'm just going to i can activate through this link or here you can see a menu gs plugins has been added and from here you can just click on post create license okay here i will add the license key so from the purchase confirmation page i can collect the license key paste the license key here and hit activate license button okay it has been activated uh, i see the some menus sub menus has been appeared post grid setting etc well uh, let's see the post grid settings page from here you can manage the settings and uh, general settings post setting style settings i'll come back to the setting options later but what i'm going to do now i'm just going to display some post or should i say post grid so what i'm going to do i'm going to check my posts here here you can see i have several posts i would like to display this i have 27 posts so before we before you use the plugin you should have some posts with beautiful thumbnail images well now i'm going to all pages and here goes some pages what i'm going to do select all pages and move to trash i don't need these pages move to trash because i would like to start with some fresh pages well now i will create a page hit add new page and i'm just going to click uh, i'm just going to name it what should i name it masonary on whatever masonary one and i have used extra theme so uh, i don't need any sidebar no sidebar and what should i say content layout will be full with content and hit publish well let's see the short code it used so we can display some post grid like this if we use any uh, use this shortcode okay just get the shortcode and come to the page and from the te when you have text view enabled just paste the shortcode and hit update and view pages and here you can see the masonry one has been added and nice post navigation well uh, let's see how can we get display another post grid just scroll down you will get the required shortcode and get back to here or create any new page card view paste the shortcode no sidebar and content lay layout will be full with content hit publish view page and here it is card view of your blog post so you can easily display your post anywhere on your wordpress website if you use this plugin okay and there are a lots of th 
themes of this plugin as you can see it has 30 plus different themes in this short tutorial video sorry to say that i can't show you all the themes but i'm just going to focus on some special themes and here it is post slider okay i'm just going to create a new page and i'm going to name it post slider block slider and no sidebar again once again content layout content publish okay if i want to display this post slider then i'll have to use this shortcut below but i like to show this one slider to one hover and just get this shortcut blocks slider and hit update view the page and here you can see the block post slider okay i'm just going to create another page and show the post filter okay here it is just the post filter and i'm just going to get the short code here it is and paste the short code and name the title is filter and sidebar no sidebar full with content and hit publish well let's see the view of the page and here you can see the nice filter of your blog post okay the the filter theme has two style filter on and filter two on filter on style it shows some metas of the blog post or it only shows the images you can easily create any portfolio type post using this style from the general setting you can just manage the number of columns and theme or styling post link target and details character count you can just change the read more text post settings you can enable or disable post name post details post author name post date post category post tag and styling some you can manage the font size font weight font style etc and you can also add custom css here okay that's all about the tutorial i think you can display your post grid on your wordpress website thank you for watching hope to see you again